Lake Superior is the largest freshwater lake in the world, situated between Canada's Ontario province and the states of Michigan, Wisconsin, and Minnesota, and the lake has a deadly reputation. In fact, you may have heard the saying that Lake Superior never gives up her dead. If you have heard that saying, it's thanks to the Gordon Lightfoot song, The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. On November 9, 1975, the Edmund Fitzgerald set sail from Superior, Wisconsin on its final voyage. The freighter was loaded with 26,000 tons of a type of iron ore called taconite. The following evening, on November 10, 1975, a powerful storm swept across Lake Superior, bringing wind gusts of 90 miles an hour. The captain radioed, I have a bad list, lost both radars, and am taking heavy seas over the deck, one of the worst seas I've ever been in. Shortly after, the ship disappeared off radar northwest of Whitefish Point, Michigan. All 29 crew on board were never seen again. The Edmund Fitzgerald and its crew still lie at the bottom of Lake Superior, but there's a scientific reason why the lake never gives up her dead. When someone drowns, the bacteria in their body creates gas that causes them to flow to the surface, but that bacteria can't work below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. In the 70s, the average temperature of the lake was 36 degrees. Today, due to our warming planet, the average temperature of Lake Superior is around 40 degrees. That's still a very inhospitable temperature that would dissuade anyone who might want to go for a swim. Yet life abounds in and around Lake Superior. More than 80 species of fish call it home. And along the shore and on the islands, you can find hundreds of types of birds from juncos to loons and eagles. Plus, big animals such as black bear, moose, and wolves live here, along with many smaller mammals such as beaver, otter, minx, fox, and even porcupine. So while the lake may hold her dead, it also teems with life.